Why won't this fourplex sell? That's what we're talking about in today's show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. In today's show is all about this fourplex and my clients, Jerry and Lisa. Now, Jerry, you actually sent this to me, right? This is not a property I found. You found this one. You've been watching it. Uh, Go on the market, come off the market, go on the market, come off the market, and you wanted my take on it, wanted to get my thoughts, see what might be going on. Luckily for you, I've got just about as much information on this particular four-unit apartment building as anybody could possibly ever have. I've actually sold this particular property not once but twice, okay? So... Uh, let me take you back to 2000 and like one, right? I'm not involved in 2001, but uh, there's a real estate agent, local guy out here. He buys it in like 2001, something like that, like $105,000, okay? He holds it for almost uh, like 16 years, okay? He holds it for 16 years. This guy is like a part-time agent, okay? He's got like other businesses, right? So he reaches out to me in 2017 now, right? So he's owned it since like 01, okay? Bought it for like 105. Reaches out to me in 2017, okay? And uh, where we're at, what happens is he's still a licensed real estate agent, but he doesn't really practice real estate too often. And he knows uh, that Holton Wise, we are the people that sell all the rental properties, right? There ain't nobody in the Cleveland market uh, that sells the volume of rental properties we do, right? Number one seller. So he's like, dude, screw it. I don't want to deal with this. I want to get out of all my rentals. I want to dump them. I don't want to be in the business anymore. I'm busy guy, blah, 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 blah. So I end up selling like fucking, I don't know. 30 or 40 or 50 properties for this guy, like probably like 50 doors, right? I don't remember how many uh, individual properties it was because it was a lot of stuff like four units, two units, you know, multi stuff, right? It, it was around like 50 doors, okay? And the caveat, the guy made it like as hard as humanly possible. Uh, the caveat was he didn't have any pictures, didn't want to bother the tenants to get pictures, and wasn't willing to let anybody uh, do showings. He just wanted to dump them. He's like, dude, you got investors from around the world. Get these fucking properties out of here. I'd list them myself if I want to deal with them. I don't want to deal with them. Just get them all sold for me, sight unseen, okay? So, long story short, I sold all these guys' properties for him, and he knew he was taking a huge haircut, but he just didn't want to deal with it. We are literally selling properties like this with literally one picture, okay? That's all we had. All right, technical difficulty there. We got a fucking crazy ass uh, snowstorm outside. It's screwing up the power to the building, which is screwing up uh, all the Wi Fi and all the networking. Anywho, so that's investing in Cleveland. So, 2017, I sell all these properties for this, uh, this like semi retired, multiple business owner, uh, real estate agent. Sell them for dirt cheap because we got no photos. It's just like, yo, investors, here's these properties. They're undervalued. You get no info. Bada bing, bada boom, right? So I do that back in 2017. I ended up selling this thing for 127000 I sold that uh, to one of my business partners in Black Tie Title, okay? Now, Fast forward to 2018, he ran the property for a little bit. We had, like, tenants in there. This 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 guy had, like, some original, like, 15-year tenants in there paying, like, four fifteen a unit, stuff like that, right? Nothing's been updated at all, blah, 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 blah. My uh, partner in Black Tie, he ended up uh, running that thing for a year, turning it over, selling it to the current owner who's represented by the current agent who's listing this property, a Keller Williams agent. Sells it to him in 2018 for $180,000, okay? So he sells it to him 2018 for $180,000. Now, here we are in 2020, and this particular guy is trying to sell it uh, to everybody else for 250 Now, 
we have seen some appreciation in the market, okay? So part of the reason that the property has gone from such a low price to where it's at today is we have seen some appreciation over those three years, number one. Work has been done to this building to renovate it and increase rents, number two. And then number three, my original seller sold it in a non-traditional way. So what you're looking at right now uh, is a recently renovated four unit building, all right? So like this stuff, this was not here back when I sold it back in the day. And uh, I don't know if my partner in Black Tie Varner, I don't know if he did uh, all of this. I think he did a couple units. He increased rents a little bit, but it appears the current guy uh, has done some recent rentals and, and got some things up. Now, that is the background on the property, but what that does not do, that does not answer all of the questions the main question being why has this thing popped on and off the market okay where we are at right now this particular seller is only entertaining cash offers this guy is not willing to accept any financed offers now people hear me talk all the time about four unit apartments building being my favorite investment reason being the financing the financing is amazing right you get four rental income checks for one of those residential mortgages that's the best gig in town when you have a seller like this who's not willing to accept financing on a property like this it's because of one of two reasons one the property is so highly distressed it's so beat up it's so jacked up that uh, an appraiser is not going to allow the bank to lend on it. You get issues like that where, say, the roof is leaking or there's a major structural issue, right? To my knowledge, we don't have any of those on the table. Then the other possible reason for that would be appraisal issues. So being that this has been going on and off the market, on and off the market, I believe, this particular seller, this particular agent, got it under contract with a couple buyers, and the property didn't appraise, okay? Didn't appraise for the price he wants, the 250, which makes sense considering since 2017, I've been involved in sales on this property and the price is just freaking, you know, all over the damn place, right? 2017, we got, how much was it again? 2017, 127K, 2018, 180K, and now 2020, 250K. So I could totally see appraisers and banks like totally scratching their head, like what the hell's going on, right? So I bet you those other buyers had a appraisal issues now the seller's all frustrated like screw it i'm not dealing with bank appraisals i only want to deal with cash buyers so that's where we're at as far as where they're at with the particular property they do have four tenants in there it's bringing in 2815 or 33,780 a year if you ran the numbers traditional fashion i anticipate you getting a net operating income of that 33,780. i think you're going to be able to take home put in your pocket 14232 as a price uh, I do agree that it's worth more than uh, it was in 2018 however I do not believe it's worth 250,000 number one number two this particular seller has totally uh, just just shrunk his buyer pool right because people buy quads people will pay a premium for a quad people will pay a four unit apartment building per unit premium because they can get really good financing are you a lender if so holton wise is looking to partner with you if you're licensed in all 50 states go to holtonwise.com click the digital media tab to advertise on holton wise tv today like you can see four units selling for a higher price per unit than six units, 10 units, 11 units, because the financing terms are so much better. And he has cut that entire segment of the market out of the equation here because he's no longer accepting financed offers. So because of all that, Jerry, I think it'd be a great move for you to go in with a cash offer, which is fine because I know you're doing the 1031, so that doesn't actually bother you, but he doesn't need to know that. I think we go in at a price point of 215000 If you pick this thing up at 215000 with the way it's operating right now, that will put this at a 6.6 .6 cap, which is totally reasonable, totally fair for the Lakewood market. As you know, Lakewood, incredibly high demand. We get renters in there at all times. Now, one other thing to mention about this building, just so you know, this is a very old building, right? It's built in 1915, so it's very old, and the units are very small. To my memory, they're very tiny units, okay? So we have a very old building, very tiny units. Because of that, I want to keep that price as low as possible. I know there are going to be other four units in Lakewood selling for more, 
okay? But, you know, a lot of times, too, like, we looked over, it was a brick one, right? That was, like, a building that was built, I think, around the 50s, 1950s, and it was built as a big old efficient apartment building, right? This is a particular property that was built over 100 years ago, built most likely as a duplex sometime, probably like 75 years ago, converted to four small apartments, right? So this is always going to be, in my opinion, from a building structure, subpar to the ones that were built uh, to be made into four-unit apartment buildings. So that's why I want to see you really cap off what you pay at 215 I really don't think it makes sense to pay the 250 And from the confusion of all the multi-prices uh, in the recent sales history that I've been involved in, I'm sure that's what the lenders are saying. So that is my thoughts on this particular building. Let me know. Uh, reply to the private email what you guys want to do. If you want us to put in the offer, we will put in whatever offer you like. Everybody else, if you'd like to invest in the Cleveland market and you want this type of one-on-one -on -one insight and service, go ahead and send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number, give you a phone call, figure out what you're trying to do, and then we will match you with the right property at the right price, at the right time, financed in the right way. New viewers out there, do yourselves a solid and smash! That subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.